That's where our Matt Howerton is. And Matt, we're a little different vantage point, but it's the same problem. Cars are stranded. The flooding rains have shut 75 down. Give us an update from your vantage point. Yeah, we're on President George Bush Turnpike right now, Pete, above 75, but you can see how these motorists are turning around on northbound 75, heading the other way. There is a tow truck about a quarter mile from here where that flooding is on northbound 75 that has shut the interstate down, and there's at least two cars that are stranded there at this point, which is why safety crews have shut down the interstate, and they're starting to pull those cars out. We've seen some people on the sides of the interstate. Looks like those are the people that were in the cars whenever they got stuck, but as you said, the backup is a nightmare. It's out here for miles, and just take a look at the right here. Motorists are turning around on northbound 75 and going the opposite direction against the traffic in the shoulder here just to get out uh, of this situation and out of this bumper to bumper traffic. All this, like you said, caused by all of those heavy rains and everybody is pretty much paying the price here on northbound 75 due to that flooding about a quarter mile away from us. We've seen motorists getting out, trying to uh, determine what their next move is going to be or how they're even going to get out of this. But the best thing to know if you're getting on the road tonight and if you're planning on traveling north, Try to stay away from northbound 75, find an alternate route. Southbound 75 was closed about an hour ago, and now it has since opened back up. But the flooding on that side doesn't appear to be as bad as it is on northbound 75. So as you can see from our pictures here, everything looks very nasty, and there's a huge backup this way all along northbound 75. So if you're heading out tonight, if you're getting on the road, you're going to want to avoid northbound 75. And if you're going to go north at all, you want to find an alternate route and just be safe on those roads out there. Pete, back to you in the studio. Matt, we appreciate that update. So uh, let me uh, transition from Collin County. I want to now head over to a live picture.